This video is part of our Qt C++ GUI development intermediate course. It is this chapter here on deployment and we will be deploying the application we build in the course on Windows, Mac, and Linux. The link to the course is shared in the description below. You can also check out the other courses we have on Qt. You can learn about Qt Quick and Qt Widgets. In this lecture, we're going to see a better way you can use to put dependencies together for your Qt application. We're going to talk about Win Deploy Qt, which is available on Windows, and uh, this is how you can use it. You put together a path to Win Deploy Qt and you give it the executable or the binary of your application as a parameter, and it's going to put together everything you need for your application to run in the folder where your binary is located. So let's go and play with us. Okay, so here I have the last folder we used in the last lecture to deploy our Painter app application. We are going to go up a little bit and create a new one we're going to use to play with Win Deploy Qt. We're going to call this two, and we're going to say Win deploy. We're going to call this win deploy Qt and we're going to go in the last folder and copy our binary and bring it back in here. Okay, we're going to put that in here. What we want is to find the path to win deploy Qt. Well, it is right here where we found our DLLs. So to make this pretty clear, let's go back to my C drive. That's where I have my Qt framework installed. We're going to go in Qt 5.12. We're going to go in. We are going to go to my kit here, which is MinGW. We're going to go in BIM. And if you go down all the way to the bottom, you're going to find when deploy Qt sitting right here. This is what we're going to use. So what I want to do is to open my Qt specific terminal. And uh, we have used this when we were doing translations. And we're going to try it and see if it makes it a bit easier to run these things. I am going to change to this location. And I am going to come here and say D and CD and paste that in here. I am going to hit enter. And if I do there, I am only going to have my binary here, my executable file on Windows. So what I want to do, I want to do win deploy Qt and see if I can even call this. Let's see what happens and it seems I can. So this is good news. We don't need to go to that full path. What we're going to do, we're going to call the same thing again, but we're not going to see the help. We're going to pass in eight and hit tab. I think it's going to autocomplete. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to hit enter and watch what happens here in this folder. We're going to hit enter. And uh, it's going to put together everything I need for this binary to run. And it's going to put those in the folder where I run this command here. And this is pretty cool. So you see, it has everything I needed. It has even more things then I had manually added in, and this is pretty cool. You can uh, try to double click here to run the application and you're going to see that it's going to run. So whenever you want to put in the dependencies on Windows, this is the best shot you get. It's going to make it way easier and it's going to be pretty cool. Now we have a folder we can send to our users and they can double click on this guy and it's going to be able to run on any Windows machine. How cool is that? It can still work. It can do whatever we've been building it to do. Let's run in Chinese. We close this. We close this and we run again. It's going to run in Chinese and it's going to be working pretty well. Okay, so this is really all about Win Deploy Qt. It is simple to use. You just give it the executable you want to generate the dependencies for and it's going to take them and put them together for you. One thing you should see is that it's going to load in many things, icons, you can go in here, image formats, it's going to make it really easy to work with images. It's going to add in DLLs that are specific to Windows. You're going to have in the styles you need. And it's going to also put together the translations that we can load through our binary here. 
But remember, in the last chapter, we didn't go this path in uh, putting together the translations. So we can safely take this out because we don't need it. Our translations are baked into this binary, and this is going to make things easier for us. But you can also put them in a separate folder here and read them dynamically if that's what you want. It is also a good option to load your translations. Okay, so WinDeployQt is your thing if you want to put together the dependencies on Windows and it's going to work pretty well. You're going to have a folder like this that you can send to your friends and they can run your application here. But we are going to do even better in the next lecture. We're going to take all these things and bake them into one installer that your users can uh, double click on to have this thing installed so that they don't have to see these DLS. They are going to be able to install your application and be able to come here and find Painter app as you see here. And we're going to enable your application to do that. And uh, we are going to see how you can do that in the next lecture. Go ahead and finish up here and meet me in the next lecture.